Hi everybody, Crystal. Okay, totally wasn't gonna do a video today, so excuse the craziness. <laughs> um, but today has been a very interesting day. So like, since the time I woke up till now, the energies have just shifted so much and everything just keeps changing. Um, I feel like today I am walking through like these bubbles of electricity. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like I'm getting zapped with all of this different energy um, and they're all very intense and some of them are very um, joy and very enjoyable and very joyous and then some of the energies are um, dense and uh, more of like a processing feeling and then like at the same time I get these like crazy excitements like right now I must be getting zapped with like this excitement bubble I, I literally when I was sitting down earlier at the park because I had a pretty rough morning sat down at the park today we have a beautiful park here in the middle of Austin uh, downtown and I just kind of sat and I put my feet in the ground and I was asking for help and guidance and stability um, and then I sat to meditate for like 15 minutes before I left for work and I was in my mind's eye literally just seeing these little bubbles tons and tons like thousands of them around me and they're just kind of be bopping around pop and every time one popped it was like electricity in my body and I would feel these different sensations I don't know exactly what that is um, I'm not really in the vibe to channel today so um, I'll definitely look into that more probably tomorrow morning um, but yeah I just thought that was so interesting um, and because of this and the shift in all this energy today it, and it's so intense like my solar plexus felt like it was being blown wide open this morning or mid-afternoon um, here in Texas it's about four o'clock right now three thirty four o'clock so um, yeah it's just been like a whirlwind of a day um, and I know we're getting um, we're getting hit with some pretty strong solar energies right now and I do know that um, we're in the middle of another really big wave that just showed up today really so um, I know that and then I can also in in the past couple of days I can really feel this full moon energy moving in and um, yeah there's just a lot of compiling energies around us and if you don't really have a grasp on your high vibration or for some reason you're dipping for something because of maybe sloppy focus or uh, waking up on the wrong side of the bed if you will um, you're gonna be kind of bounced around through these emotions and it took me the majority of the morning to really kind of get a grip on myself and uh, use my tools to kind of pull out of it so because of that I decided like 30 minutes ago I was like man I need to do a video on this we need to get the second part of the toolbox out because there's people out there that need this um, cause I needed it today. So last week or earlier in the week, I posted part one of the Ascension toolbox series, which was meditation practices. And today this particular video is, um, the Ascension toolbox series part two and it's positive aspecting. So this is something that uh, the concept and idea of it, I learned from um, Esther Hicks, who channels Abraham. I love her, love her, love her. Um, she just has amazing energy and I love the way Abraham comes through and just really gives you this empowerment and this feeling of control back over your life when, especially when you're just kind of coming into a lot of the energy work. Um, she's a really good teacher. Her practices are phenomenal. 
So this particular exercise has changed my life in so many ways. Not only do I use it when I'm feeling a little off and really can't get a grip on myself, I'm also, I'm also in the habit of using it to manifest really cool things. Like if I want to go to the next level per se of my vibration, um, I will use the positive aspecting. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. And I'm going to talk to you today about how I do it. So there's two ways that I do it also. Um, the first way is writing it down. I'll sit down and just kind of look at my life in general, um, friends, family, my nephew, my dogs, you know, um, my partner, my beautiful home, my friends, you know, all this stuff. And I'll just write positive aspects, thing that, things that make me feel good when I think about these things. And I just write them down and I, get, I try to get carried away in it to try and evoke that feeling of feeling good. Um, but and, and that does work. It definitely helps. But the thing that helps me the most, to be really honest, is to carry positive aspects with me throughout my entire day, no matter what I'm doing. So for instance, today, on my drive to the park, I literally drove down the street just kind of looking around for nice cars that I could give appreciation to or maybe there were like here in Austin there's tons of butterflies right now so I was just appreciating the butterflies and appreciating the sky and just really trying to distract myself from actual any th thought patterns whatsoever other than what I'm wanting to choose it, to put my focus on um, saw a beautiful car rolled by and I was like, man, I, that car is so gorgeous on the outside. I can only imagine what it looks like on the inside. Um, you know, I, I saw a lady walking um, a new little puppy and I just kind of talked to myself about the puppy and the puppy stages that I was in with my dogs and just kind of evoking those really good memories because of that situation, you know, that I've experienced in the past. And, um, really milking it and really getting into it. So you can do this in just one day and feel better in the moment, but if you're really wanting to kind of shift your life to the next level and really raise your vibration, my advice as far as positive aspecting and what's worked for me would be to go through a couple of days doing this everywhere you go. You know, if you're making dinner and you're in the kitchen and you're going and grabbing your spatulas and, you know, I, look at how cute they are or, or, you know, appreciate your spice rack and all of its, all of its diversity and, and what you can put into your food. Um, it's just really finding appreciation in the small things and trying to go general to not focus on anything in particular. Um, like right now, sitting outside here, I mean, it is so beautiful today. There's a light breeze, the sun's out, no clouds in the sky, no chemtrails in the sky. It's about 75 degrees and it's just a gorgeous day today in Texas. It really is. Birds are singing. Yeah. Yeah. So the whole point of the positive aspecting is to get yourself into a space where you are consciously aware of your thoughts and using your focus, <clears throat> excuse me, using your focus to direct them in the direction of things that feel good. And by doing this, you are consciously altering your vibration. And isn't that what this is all about in the first place? Yeah, it is. It's about being in control of your vibration, knowing when to be easy with yourself, knowing when to be compassionate with yourself, and learning how to milk it when you do feel good. If you're actually feeling pretty off today, um, or a day that you watch this video, I would not try to do positive aspecting. Positive aspecting is more for the days where you're feeling decent to good but not quite great because it'll push you into great. Um, a lot of times you can use, I've used positive aspecting kind of as a rampage if you guys um, know anything about 
Abraham Hicks and, and their message and everything, they do a lot of rampaging, which is just really digging into the good feeling stuff and really milking it, talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. Um, going down the rabbit hole in a positive direction. So um, if I'm in a really good space, I'll use positive aspecting for that as well. But I tend to think about it more when I'm just like, riding the line when I'm wobbling, right? It's like my vibration could go one of two ways. I could either go down that path of negative thinking or I can choose to switch myself right now and raise my vibration, raise my vibration, raise my vibration. So it's a really awesome tool when you're riding that thin line um, you know, when the energies get really intense, like the way I'm feeling that they are today. And, um, I don't know why I wobbled so much this morning. I really don't, but I was in it. I was in it for about three or four hours. <clears throat> and because of the positive aspecting, I was able to pull myself out. And now because of that, I've actually had a very beautiful day, a very calm day, um, I can tell that my body needs some rest and I'm really looking forward to the weekend, but I can be in a calm space and still keep my vibration in a good space too. Um, you know, one thing when I was first on my journey with being more in control of my vibration and my frequency and kind of taking my power back, I would always tell myself, cause whenever I would feel tired or, or just a little bit low energy, I would interpret that for some reason as like being in a bad mood. And um, as I started to like work with the energies and really start to redefine myself, one of the things I like to practice a lot was, you know, I can be tired and happy too. I can. Um, it's just something you have to practice. A lot of times we get tired and we're like, oh, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that and blah, 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 blah. And what we do is we literally create a bad day for ourselves. And that's not really the life I want to live. And more than likely, if you're reading, or I'm sorry, if you're listening to this video, that's not really the life you want to live either. So um, use your tools, use what you have. So I hope this helps. I hope this is a nice little nugget as we kind of move in through these full moon energies till the end of the month. Um, the full moon's gonna show up on the 29th and by that time, everything should really be shifting. Um, but if you can hold yourself in a really good high flying vibration, um, you are just gonna kill it this week. I mean, it is going to feel so dang good. And I'm proud of you, because I'm not there today. Um, but I will be tomorrow. And the reason I will be tomorrow is because this is what I do. I'll take these positive aspects tonight when I'm laying in bed, relaxing, trying to wind down, getting ready to sleep. And I will go through my day and think about all the beautiful things that happened today. And that really sets the tone for the way I wake up in the morning the next day. So that's another way to try this positive aspecting and see if it works for you. You know, it's best to start your mornings off on the right foot and you're pretty much always gonna wake up the way you go to bed the night before. So if you go to bed the night before feeling a little down, feeling a little negative or complainy, or maybe you're frustrated or irritated, chances are you're probably gonna wake up that way too until you have something of an external circumstance that can shift you. But the key to this whole ascension process is not needing external circumstances to shift you, right? It's, it's kind of the name of the game to be able to do it on your own. Um, so practice that, practice some positive aspecting today. If you're already in your high flying vibe, awesome, milk it. And tonight when you lay in bed, go through your day and list all of the beautiful things that happened to you. You know, your top five moments. What were your top five moments today? Was it that delicious piece of chocolate you had? Was it a hug from your loved one? Um, was it puppy kisses? You know, what was it? Think about those things. A delicious bath. Maybe you went out and had dinner. Maybe somebody just smiled at you when you were walking down the street or at the grocery store or something and it just really lightened you up. It really can be anything, but being consciously aware of moments that feel good attract more moments that feel good. Yes, yes. That's what we're here for, name of the game.
Feel better, feel better, feel better. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you take away a nugget to put in your own Ascension Toolbox. Like I said in the first Ascension Toolbox video, take what works for you and use it. And if something doesn't work for you, then let it go. Um, you know, I've gone through many, 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 many tools over the years of my Ascension process. Um, my Ascension, I, started a very long time ago but really started heightening about 10 years ago um, back in 2008 when I was living in Phoenix that was really when things started to change for me so through the years there's been a lot of things that have come up and I've tried almost everything under the Sun and there's been a lot that just didn't agree with me or just wasn't my style and so I just let it go peacefully and the things that have worked man I have hung on to them and I use them as frequently as possible and that's what all these videos are about because I want to share all of this goodness with all of you people because we all deserve to be happy and we all deserve to feel good and we have it within us to do these things to actually choose and make this shift on our own so um, I'm sending you guys all love and light, especially over these next couple of days while these energies get really strong. And I can't wait to post the, the next Ascension Toolbox video. Um, I, I'm really digging this. I'm really digging sharing these tools with everybody. So y'all have a wonderful weekend and we'll be talking soon. Bye.